Hey, so this is a review of the, the Trimble Easy Pilot and the 1050 display. And I got a NAV 900 on top. Uh, I got this on a Workmaster 105, so they make them for baby tractors. All in all, I like it. You know, it stays within six inches uh, accuracy. Um, I haven't any pro had any problems finding satellites or anything like that. Um, it's a little pricey, you know, so if I were to do this again, I would maybe go with Ag Leader, but this is scalable, so I'll be able to put air clutches and stuff on it and uh, uh, add, you know, more uh, technology to it. So this is the 1050. When I turn it on, it automatically goes on. I just figured I would show you what the start screen looks like. If you've never used one of these, this is your satellites and your, uh, if, if, if you, everything's talking to each other. Your vehicle profile pretty much stays the same unless you're, you're moving your, your, your uh, screen and stuff in between tractors or implements. Your implement uh, is super uh, simple. I, I mounted some, or I, I, I put in some pre-programmed ones. They're just things that I, I, I made my mower, chisel, my harrow, uh, my disc, my sprayer, my planter. And you just switch in between those uh, for what you're doing. So uh, I don't have anything on me right now. I'm just kind of making some sort of random video because I haven't seen any of this stuff online. So I'll say that I am uh, shredding or something, you know, which I guess you could do with the uh, monitor. Back. So, I just changed all my stuff to uh, treading. So, I'm not going to need a material. That would be if I was spraying or, or broadcasting. I'm in the field that I'm in. It's duty corn. That's the, uh, well, that's the field next to me. That's the field I was in. So, I'm in East 2, actually. Uh, this thing will pick up fields based upon how close they are to you. So, uh, I was in these two, I'm, I'm within, uh, you know, 100 feet of these two, so that splits the difference. But uh, Doug's is a few few miles away, and then these, these get a little further and further and further away. I find that pretty cool. You can save these fields to set the boundaries on them, and then do different tasks inside the field, uh, and just keep adding tasks. So swathing, you know, mowing is what this bat wing would be doing if I was hooked up to a bat wing. And uh, it shows, you know, zero. If I mow this whole field, or, you know, chisel this whole field, whatever I'm doing, it'll show task at 100%. And if I were to change, if I wanted to uh, mow it again, or if I wanted to disc it again, if I was on a disc or something, and didn't want to see the old lines that I would do, I would just press this plus and do, you know, swabbing or disking too. And then go back. And it would change, you know, this would be 100% on swabbing or swabbing one. I just changed it to swabbing two. And it would be back to 0%. So you wouldn't see any of your uh, your guidance lines. So you wouldn't see any of your, your passes that you made if you were disking or something. Uh, so... Satellites and stuff, I've never had to mess with any of this stuff. They had that recent update in 2022, early 2022. And uh, I didn't have to find any new satellites or anything. Keep the profile the same. Uh, material, so we'll go to my sprayer, 40 foot sprayer. You click this weird yellow button, that will click it. Um, and then back and then you know obviously I'm not mowing so it wants to change the task the material I got 24d amine on there and you can just add in general uh, material names and stuff you know we'll type in uh, Callisto or something I might actually have Callisto in there already uh, category you know uh, it's a liquid type
Parkside. Liters a hectare. Yeah, so I do uh, ounces an acre. Put in your target rate. Uh, put in. Uh, I don't have any air clutches or any sort of way to monitor any of this stuff, so I am just happy to be able to stay on the straight line, not overlap. And uh, I've calibrated my sprayer to know how many uh, ounces an acre I'm putting out, depending on my ground speed and RPMs and stuff. So I still have to do that the old timey way. And I assume whenever I get a smart sprayer, uh, I can, or air clutches, I'll make it uh, work with this. But that's it and uh, I could save that that uh, material and uh, you know if I want to do that Callisto that I just put in boom I'm spraying it and I'll know this thing will keep track of well change the task to uh, spray and back and now when I go into this little run guy screen It shows me my boundaries, what I had uh, uh, plotted, and uh, what I've gone through, and my rates, and stuff like that. I'll do another video on uh, setting up guidance lines and stuff, or setting boundaries. All in all, pretty good system. About 10 grand or something to be able to spread fertilizer and, and spray accurately. So, uh, all in all, it's worth it.